Greetings metal community, it's uh, Roger back with another video, another 7 inch uh, loaded video. Um, yeah, did order some special editions uh, that arrived in the mail, so it fitted very well with the rest of the stuff that I have put out lately, so I'm gonna show it in a minute. Do have some other CDs, uh, singles as well as I've gotten in the mail the couple, last couple of weeks as well. In the background we are listening to uh, Iron Tomb. Wild Retribution. I've seen this uh, been bought by several on Bandcamp lately, and uh, that's good. Uh, good uh, stuff from uh, from these guys. Uh, it is the modern death metal type, uh, not not reinventing the wheel, but uh, it's a solid, solid one. A little bit of a roaring voice as well, so. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Go and check it out on Bandcamp <clears throat> if you haven't already. Um, I'm sure there's. It's gonna be shown a lot in the VC or in the metal community pretty soon. Yeah, over to the seven inches. Uh, first one is a, a split between uh, Ignivomus and uh, Sensu. Really cool. Ignivomus is a killer, killer uh, band. So, uh, uh, trying to get all their stuff, and um, this was one of the last missing pieces. Then I got a uh, Necro Wretch. Uh, now you're in hell. That's not the song. Uh, the song is uh, from uh, Hideous Summoning. Don't know why they didn't call the single the same as the song. And the B-side is uh, Zombie Ritual, um, cover by death. Uh, an okay cover, but I mean, it's it's okay. But uh, yeah, love Necrowitch, French death metal band. A little bit more towards the vicious um, death metal, uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive, satanic uh, de death metal. Then a Norwegian gem, uh, Putrefaction, this was recorded in 1992, uh, this is a um, Soul Cellar release, uh, came out this year. I've been trying to get hold of a lot of um, the old Norwegian uh, death metal demos that are being reissued and um, there was quite a few death metal bands. Um, back in yeah like early 90s uh, but most of them started to play black metal and this uh, uh, in this band we have one of the uh, or the main guy behind um, ancient is the guy behind this pretty uh, mid pace to slow death metal pretty good sound on it, this as well so that was cool and uh, you know happy to have this in my collection uh, trying to get the Norwegian death metal in the in the collection, yes. And uh, the last one is uh, Canarium and the Defiler split. Canarium is Swedish. Uh, pretty dirty, evil sounding death metal, both of them. And um, yeah, so uh, uh, good listen. It was cheap. I, I got it together with something else, so yeah, then over to the special uh, limited edition stuff. Um, I was kind of not wanting to buy this because they were pretty expensive, but um, after watching them, um, I just had to have them. And um, as Kim uh, over at This Is Music said, uh, he thinks that picture disc are kind of sucks when they don't have extras with them. These have this kind of uh, back to them, and uh, this is limited to uh, 350 copies. It's a collaboration between uh, Church of Vinyl, who does this, and, and the Nuclear Blast. And uh, the disc, uh, first disc is uh, Death Angel. Uh, yeah, try to get it out of the screen glare. Pretty cool looking um, 
shaped discs as well so um, and they are on 33rd or 33 rpm which is cool i don't like uh, the 45 rpm but uh, yeah as i said uh, it came with a little bit they could have you know printed the lineup and stuff on it as well but uh, it's kind of cool that they did some back so it looks like this and, and this beauty goes into there. So that's pretty cool. The next one I got was, um, I mean, again, disaster. Uh, 350 copies made of this as well. I just love these cool, cool picture discs. As I said, these are pretty expensive, but um, yeah, I had a little chat with my bank, bank account and, it, and he said it was okay, so what to do and uh, you know the price won't drop on this anyway so if I regret it I can sell it and we have um, Aztecs with the uh, Kanduri damn cool excellent excellent stuff I mean I just I just love the artwork on the newer Aztex release, and you have the really cool uh, backside on this one. This is limited to 500, probably because Aztex is a well-known band, and you know it's 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 a bit cooler looking. This one I was kind of not sure that I wanted to buy, but I threw it in there. And that's Metal Church, Auto Balance. Again, it's pretty damn cool, so uh, you know, I didn't regret getting this. So it's cool that, um, and uh, this has this cool, um, you know, legendary guitar, metal church, and uh, the other side is looking like this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm gonna save the best for last, in my opinion, though. But um, we have dark funeral. With uh, the don't, the dawn no more rises. Again, a really really cool looking um, disc. And the sleeve looks like really cool uh, artwork here. As I said, they could have done like maybe a bit. Um, information on the band on it as well but compared to a lot of picture discs these uh, releases are awesome in my opinion and uh, the last one I have to show in this episode is uh, my favorite the death metal band of all time if I can get it out Immolation, look at this bad boy. It's so damn cool. I feel nothing and nailed to gold. And this is the this is the main reason I bought started buying this. It's just yeah, I thought this was so fucking cool that I I just had to have it and I said it's it's my favorite death metal band and I'm uh, trying to get a lot of cool stuff from them. Immolation there and um, this. So yeah, that was all I had for um, 
the last uh, you know uh, single or seven inch uh, videos um, of course I will continue buying them but uh, then you will see them all in collection updates so um, thanks for all that I've been watching I know that this is kind of a niche when it comes to yeah I'm not, there's not a lot of people who love seven inches but uh, I do and um, therefore I wanted to share it with you and I know some of you love to watch these videos and uh, thank you for your support and uh, commenting uh, I will be back real soon with a collection update because I have a ton of stuff that I need to show and talk about a little bit so uh, be sure